Hey, greetings, everyone. This is James Quake, Quake Tex. I'm here with our factors in the house. We're here at WakandaCon. It's going down. WakandaCon, what's up, brother? What's going on? This is a real nice exhibition they had going on here. I'm really feeling it. Yeah, all the exhibits are really nice. And a lot of the interesting people, a lot of the entrepreneurs. Didn't expect it on a Tuesday going on a Wednesday. Today's Thursday, right? Oh yeah, today's Friday. Oh damn. <laughs> Beat. <laughs> Been a long week. Sorry about that, y'all. Nah, nah, it's all good. Days uh, blend into each other. Yeah, today's been a long day for me. I was like coding all day, working, working, working. But then you got to take a time out and support. So today uh, we were uh, blessed to be part of a panel discussion. I can't say which one it was because we were late. But other than that, hey, that's what it's all about, man. It's all about supporting. It's all about community. And it was just good to see this many black vendors at a convention. You got that right. It's so astounding. It's just mind blowing to see how many intellectual black people can be in one place and no violence. It's very astounding, very interesting, very exhilarating. You may read a poem about it later on. But overall, a lot of intelligent people, positive in nature, doing their thing, trying to make a little money on the side, but pass the word on building a fan base making things show that black people can be positive, they can do good things, and they can make something different in this life. It's so wonderful to be here. It's like you draw positive energy as soon as you come walking through the door. It's a lot of walking around because of the way the Marriott is, but once you get in the room, and we ain't from games to people selling products to the Wakanda kind characters, it's just something that can't be missed if you can help it. Yeah, so, so one thing I noticed, I saw a lot of kids having fun playing games, and, and that was good to see. Uh, a shout out to our brother over there, uh, iGames, who was setting up games for the youth and inspiring people to get part of esports. Uh, one thing I am going to say, though, I'm going to prophesy we're going to get into a convention next year or the year after. And you'll be seeing people playing games that were created by people that look like you and me. You know, games are created by African-American artists or even independent artists. A lot of times uh, people get access to what they think they can. Um, they'll look for the low hanging fruit and shoot for a goal that they think they can attain. Esports is huge, it's important, but also the reality of it is, is that building the video game is also low hanging fruit too. There's never been a better time in history to build things without a budget. Uh, Blender is free, Unity is free, um, Unreal is free. So all the tools you would need to develop a video game are now free. Even the process of pre-production, uh, there's a uh, image editor called uh, Pixel. It's a free uh, browser-based editor like Photoshop. Uh, it has ads on it, but it's free. So the reality of it is, is you can build a lot. And actually, we have our first game coming out, Project Fly. Uh, Rich was in the movie live action version of Project Fly. So this fall 2019, we're finally going to release Project Fly, a game that took three years to build, countless man hours, over 2,000 hours. And it was actually developed by people who primarily African American and live in neighborhoods like Inglewood, Chatham, Humble Park, and North Lawndale. And that project was one of a kind, amazing. I surprised myself. I didn't know I had it in me. I blended in so well because I used to watch martial arts movies growing up. And it's like, this is truly something to be seen. It takes you back, brings you forward, and at the same time, shows you what you're made of, how you can adapt or motivate and progress. Because nowadays you have to progress and adapt 
and push forward to the, as far as you can go and then look for more because there's something out there for everybody. You just have to be willing to strive for it and you'll be surprised what you produce from yourself. It's really something that's like we were, where we are now. This is just breathtaking, breathtaking. It's something that you have to see if you can get here. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. You gotta get here to get in the game. The thing is, is we got Neutron in the house, Neutrino. That was his first acting role, Project Fly. You know, we all in here sitting on the couch looking like bosses. I'm gonna pass the mic to Neutrino. What was your uh, role in Project Fly and how did you like it? Uh, actually, I loved it. It was uh, my first movie that I ever acted in. I uh, appreciate the opportunity. Um, black sci-fi, awesome movement. Um, a lot of talented actors and actresses. Um, yeah, it was an excellent opportunity. I, I really uh, appreciated it. So yeah, so pretty much uh, what kind of con we're here. We're inside of the convention. We're wearing our VIP badges. We're being part of panels. We're reinforcing and encouraging the vendors. We're buying black. So before we sign out, we just wanted to say it's no more excuses. You can create a video game with a zero dollar budget. You just have to have the will to get it done. Now, the reality of it is sometimes you have to get someone that does this for a living, like Quake Technology, to make the game for you. But if you don't have the budget for that, hey, there's workshops that we have coming up. Some of the workshops that are coming up this fall are gonna be free. So stay tuned, find out how you can learn how to make a video game, and let's make it happen. Don't forget, level up 2019.